It's the, the first time that the offense has been on the field. 11-27 left to play in the third quarter. Tyler Gronke starts here in the second half as he has played the whole game. Low snap from center. Adjust. Throws. Complete to Malcolm Lane. And Lane is chased out of bounds over the 40-yard line. That's a gain on the play of about 14. It is. First down. Nice job by Tyler. Low snap. Picks it up. Keeps his composure. Great pass to Malcolm Lane. Nice job there by Tyler Gronke. Gronke actually waited for Lane to get back into the huddle and then shook his hand. So here's Gronke again. Triple wide receiver he is uh, to the right. Jason Rivers has come into the game. He is flanked to the left. Gronke looking for the shovel pass. Gets it to right Jackson. And Jackson runs into kind of a semi wall of white there. And they're able to stop him. Jetta Ross is there. And Marco Ramirez, 6'3", 265, uh, the senior. Houston Yanni actually putting some pressure on Tyler. And Tyler, who normally sort of flips the ball out there on the shovel pass, actually had to sidearm it a little bit to make something happen. Gain on the play of about three, second down and seven. The ball has been advanced to the 47-yard line of Hawaii. Hawaii leads it 35 to 10 here in the third period. Gronke, short drop, throw, sideline pattern. Malcolm Lane. And Lane steps out of bounds at the 46-yard line. That's enough for a Hawaii first down. Well, great field presence by Malcolm Lane, running right up to about a yard past the first down marker and turning out. Very nice job. So Tyler Gronke, the quarterback here in the second half, and leading this drive, first down, looks over the middle, has all day. Now chased out of the pocket, throws sideline pattern, that's complete again to Malcolm Lane inside the 30 to the 27 yard line. Akiba Rollinson was there to make the stop. 18 yard pickup and a first down for Hawaii. That was a real nice job by Malcolm Lane. Getting into a pocket when Tyler started to scramble to his left, he slid over towards the sideline, got himself open. Nice job by Tyler, nice composure. Great job by Malcolm Lane helping him out, getting into the open. They put the, put the ball at the 28 of Charleston Southern. Charleston Southern showing blitz. Gronke lays it off. With the ball is Grice Mullins, and Grice Mullins tries to make a move, but they block him, and he finally succumbs to the pressure. Nine fifty-one left to play in the third period. Hawaii has started this second half. I mean, they have started it with a bang. Thirty-five to ten for the yep. Warriors. Thirty-five to ten. Ball on the just inside the twenty-eight yard line of the Buccaneers. Gronke with Wright Jackson back there with him in the shotgun. Gronke steps up, now throws along over the middle. That is incomplete. It was intended for Devon Bess. That was close, but the ball tumbled free. C.J. Hirschman covering on the play. Third down now for Hawaii. Ball of the 28. That was a right read by Tyler, just a little bit low. Starting to see some stickers now on the helmets. That's from June Jones. That's June Jones's idea. He has a private collection. Ball is thrown. This is best. Crossing pattern at the 20. Eludes two tacklers, but not a third. He is short of the first down. That will bring a fourth down. And that is Devon's first catch of this game. Looks like they're going for it, Jim. They were able to convert on a fourth down earlier. So you see Jason Rivers behind June Jones, and Jason Rivers is not wearing any pads. 
So his uh, play may be at an end in this game. Fourth down. Away gambling. In motion is Grice Mullins. Gronke throws. That is complete. They have the first down and more. With it is Best. Touchdown. And they are going to give Best an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty for flipping into the end zone. I would have given that at least a nine. A nine point five. Yes. I think he was off. He was sort of off balance there, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Now you see the referee can't wait to get the flag out. Third down and five for Hawaii. The ball at the 49 yard line of Charleston Southern. Charleston Southern will be called for offside or encroachment. That ball is thrown wide of the intended receiver, Malcolm Lane. Hawaii will benefit from the penalty. Offsides, number four, defense. Penalty yardage results in a first down. Justiniani. Someone has got to tell in his career, because it's the right thing to do, you have to do the right thing, has got to tell the referee Drew George that in the sport of American football, there is no such thing as offsides. It's offside. <laughs> 318 left in the third. Hawaii has advanced the ball to the 45 of Charleston Southern. With it is Wright Jackson turning the corner. And Jackson able to make some positive yardage. Nice log block there by Hercules Satelli on Hustiani. That's where the offensive lineman comes around and wraps around the player so the running back can bounce to the outside. Right, Jackson tonight, six rushes, 36 yards. What Hawaii is demonstrating now is their version of ball control. Second down and five, the ball at the 39. Ball is handed off again to Wright Jackson. Jackson has the first down, or did. And they smack him out of bounds inside the 35-yard line. We'll see where they give him forward progress. Okiba Rollinson and Jada Ross there to make the uh, tackle again. Same exact play. This time Hercules kicks the defensive end out and allows Wright Jackson to come in underneath. Third down, less than a yard. Right There's here. the handoff. Close. Third down, less than a yard. Right, Jackson continues in the backfield with Gronke. Gronke throws long down the middle. Touchdown! C.J. Hoffman. 5'11", 193, a sophomore. 4 of 4 so far this year. 58 yards, one touchdown. And he's played two games. His longest pass completion, 24 yards. So Funaki looking, throws to the side. That is complete. And bumped out of bounds is Kealoa Pilares. Now check that. It's uh, Aaron Bain just into the game. Aaron Bain, number 85. So Hawaii, no doubt, changing its, its offensive numerology here. And I believe it looks like the second team O-line is in there. Larry Salafay has moved to center. We've got uh, Bison Gindlach, uh, La Pepe Latule, Aaron Kia, and I can't see who the right guard is at the moment. Lafu Tioti Marner. Greg Salas is in, along with Aaron Bain. At the wide receiver. Funaki looking left. Now throws. That's complete. Excellent throw to Malcolm Lane. And Lane gets to about the 10-yard line. Oh, excuse me, Salas. So Greg Salas able to come back for that. Nice protection there by the second-team offensive line. 
Really good job. Sala 6-2, redshirt freshman out of Chino, California. That was his third catch of the season. He had one touchdown against Northern Colorado. So the ball is advanced to the about the 11 yard line. Polaris is back with Funaki. This is Polaris. Out of bounds at the two. They literally throw him off the gridiron. David Misher leading the charge of uh, Charleston Southern. Flores is a nice open field runner. Tried a little dip right there. See if he could get him to bite, but they didn't. Uh, got out at the two yard line. Polaris now six carries, 41 yards, and one touchdown. Well, just outside the two. Second down and goal to go. Anaki checks off, throws into the end zone. Touchdown. Aaron Bain. We'll be able to take a, an isolation look at Mr. Bain. Excellent pass by Funaki. Nice job of getting separation in the air. But I'm even more surprised looking at the look at June Jones' face. Didn't look too happy with a 56-10 lead. Yeah, he's not... Uh, he's pensive. We'll say that. He's thinking about something. In motion is Salas. Fanaki looking, looking, now lays it off to Kayla Polaris. Polaris to the 40-yard line from the 31, gain of nine. Second down and one. Brandon Horton, number 95, making the stop for Charleston Southern. Nice little bubble out there. Nice pass by Noki Fanaki. Nice catch by Kailua Polaris. Washington, one of the wide receivers uh, to the far side, along with Lane. Salas on the near side. Ball is kept by Funaki. Funaki has the first down, carries the ball into Charleston Southern territory. Gets all the way to the 49-yard line. James Jenkins and Tony Gaston there to make the uh, tackle for uh, Charleston Southern. There's only five schools that play in the Big South that play football. Only five. And so uh, Charleston Southern is awaiting Presbyterian College to come in next year. They have VMI, Liberty, Coastal Carolina, Gardner-Webb as the others. So the Big South in football isn't that big. That ball could have been tipped that time. Funaki trying the, the short pattern for Aaron Bain. And that is the end of perfection for Mr. Funaki. That was the first incompletion this in, entire season. You gotta really like with the poise that he's playing with there. Yes. He comes in here and he's got the second team offensive line with him. He's moving the ball really well. Funaki again from the shotgun. Second and ten. Looking left now, looking over the middle. Now throws back to the sideline. That is complete to Bain. And Bain is inside the 20-yard line. That connection works again. 32 yards and a first down. Great job by the offensive line, giving Anoki all the time in the world. Had a twist stunt right in front of him. Allows Bain to get behind the linebackers into the gap in the zone. Nice job by everybody there. 
Selene is flanked to the left. Coming to the right is Salas. Funaki gives the handoff to Mario Cox. Mario just into the game. Mario played sparingly last year. He's out of Oakland, California, McClymonds High School. 5'11", 230, the sophomore. Very nice block there by Lafutiro T. Mariner. Pulling around from the right guard, turning it up. Watch it right here. Right there. Got too excited. Second down. And we have four yards to go for the first down. The ball is on the 11. Hawaii threatening again. Funaki looks, end zone, leaping catch. Did he get his foot down? No. Malcolm Lane. No, check that. Greg Salas. Salas went up, and that would have been a spectacular catch. Ooh. Looks the, like the white was on the white, Jim. If, if it's on the white, it's good, isn't it? See where that foot comes down. That's a, that's a touchdown. That's a touchdown. That was not a good call. Salas. Salas saved me. The white counts, huh? Like, yeah, that's a touchdown. Coach Jones is asking for a review, I believe. Yeah, going to be a review. That was a spectacular catch. I mean, it... It was right out of the galaxy, that one. Here comes the leap. Fingertip catch. Watch the foot. Watch the foot. Watch the foot. Yes. I think it's in. It was close a call. It was catch. a close call. It was a heck of a catch. Oh, a terrific catch. Hawaii is challenging the ruling on the field of an incomplete pass. Well, if you're Greg Sellers, you got to love that. Coach Jones stepping out there using the challenge for you. Yeah. I think it's a touchdown. Let's see. Let's see what the officials say here. Call a penalty on themselves. Monday, you must be in an optometrist chair. Close, very close. And you see the foot comes down. That appears to be in. That appears to be in. We shall see. See, in the National Football League, for those of you who are wondering, National Football League, you have to have two feet in. In the NCAA, no matter what subdivision you're in, you have to have one foot, just one foot. Here he comes. Watch this. It's going to be a touchdown. What do you think, Jim? What do you think? Touchdown? Huh? They seem to have a hard time overruling themselves. After review, the play is confirmed. The receiver came down with one foot out of bounds. Incomplete pass. Nah. Third down. <laughs> the crowd's not too happy about that. No, no. Of course, you can argue that, hey, you're up. You're up 56. Timeout. University of Hawaii. You're up 56 to 10. Timeout. What are you challenging for? You know, I mean, but still, yeah. If it's a touchdown, it's a touchdown. You, you cannot deny the effort that was there, the pass that was thrown, and the catch that was attempted. I just think it was the wrong call, but we don't count. Nine minutes and four seconds left to play in the game. Hawaii will try again. Third down. They have to go to the seven for a first down. Ball is just outside the 11. Funaki again into the end zone. Knocked away. Good. <laughs> Funaki keeping. Comes around the near side. Good blocking. Funaki gets inside the 40 to the 36-yard line. Gain of nine. Philip Ashley finally tackled him. Now that's a play we don't get to see often with Colt Britton in there. That's a designed quarterback keeper. 
with the lead block right there by La Pepe Le Tuli. And uh, Noki looks like he wanted to hit somebody. Yes, he did. Yes. He was running with abandon that time. Clock is ticking. 6-12 left to play. We're in the fourth quarter. Hawaii up 59-10. to 10. Boy, Hawaii started the second half with a flourish. Carrying the ball is Jason Lamoli. Lamoli headbutts his way inside the 25 to about the 22. Jason Laumoli from Pongo Pongo, American Samoa. Went to Yuba College. 15 yards and a first down. Number number 35, Mike McCann for the Buccaneers got up and said, what was the license plate of that truck that hit me? Good power running that time by Laumoli. We may see more of him in the next 541. Dylan Linkner has come in as a wide receiver. He is flanked to the left. Funaki gives it again to Laumoli. This time Laumoli runs into the linebacking core of uh, Charleston Southern and they hurl him back. Hawaii content to let that clock run here. Well, that's about the best way to tackle on Mole is gang tackle because he is just a very powerful runner. And you got to be sitting there thinking if you're one of the Buccaneer defenders going, wow, 59 to 10, and now we got to tackle that guy. Balin Salas to the near side. Linkner and Washington to the far side. Ball is thrown for Washington. Touchdown. Nineteen yard touchdown throw by Funaki. And Funaki line drive it to him. I mean, this is the express. Right behind the zone coverage. Very nicely thrown. Great protection by the second team offensive line. 65 to 10. We will do the game. First down. Ball at the 39-yard line. Funaki keeps. Look at the look at the uh, real escort he had around the corner. I mean, that was a wall. The entire it seemed that the entire offensive line pulled and then kind of did a, a military move to throw up a wall, and he ran right behind it. 13-yard gain. Look at this. Oh. Excellent blocking. Jada Ross was just crushed by the pulling right guard. So Hawaii with the first down on the 47-yard line. Must, of Charleston Southern. Must have been Rafael Ayer on that last play on Jada Ross. Funaki and the ball off. And carrying the ball is Alonzo Chop, number 23. Alonzo Chop, former Marine. Bank of Hawaii presents our choice for tonight's most valuable players. Uh, for Charleston Southern, it's Alexis Ferguson, 225 all-purpose yards. And for Hawaii, Tyler Gronke, 22 of 36, 285 yards and three touchdowns. We won't put in the two interceptions. No, we won't put in the two interceptions. Bank of Hawaii salutes these two very deserving players. Second down and 12 from the 49-yard line. Ball is given on a slant. Carrying the ball is Alonzo Chop. There have been many stories written about him. About uh, He has to work late at night, doesn't have a scholarship. Alonzo Chop with a tour in the Marines. Two ex-Marines out there. I think we mentioned earlier Hustiani yeah. from the Bucks uh, was in Iraq with the Marines. Came back, had a great season for the Bucks last year. 
looking to have a good one this year in the Big South Conference. Time for perhaps one more play. And this will be it. Taking the knee will be Funaki. And that'll do it.